OzFest 2023 is here. Bring the kids along on this gothic-inspired geriatrics tour of the immersive world of Azeroth in this new challenge for a 20-year-old game. Festivities include blasting boars, stabbing boars, getting parried by boars, killing boars, and looting boars. Now that the festivities have concluded, join a circle of sleeveless scorpion slayers and await the arrival of the newest named mob spawn. Try to tag Sarkoth before the line of other pagans. Winner gets 300 experience and bragging rights. Losers get castrated. I have been sitting here for 30 minutes. Learn the latest in weapons technology by purchasing stick-holding lessons from your local racist. Hey, I heard Mastodon is playing at this year's OzFest. What song are you hoping they play, Sayok? Blood and thunder. Now that your ninth birthday has passed, you can upgrade your red dress to a white dress, signifying your newfound fertility. OzFest 2023 has a variety of means of local transit, including the Zeppelin. To the right, you'll see our first landmark, the Tower of Babel, which this year will not be constructed to reach the heavens, but to provide guests with facilities to receive reach arounds. Learn about the locals' culture by stealing their literature to be used in the annual book burning, but be on the lookout for any suspicious activity you see among the concert grounds. This young pagan is interrogating a local librarian for information. He will later be put to death for lack of effort. Now that you have the forbidden knowledge, you can take part in the ritualistic summoning of rock superstar Frank Zappa, whose soul has been stripped from the void to aid you in your quest. That's good. Now that you've defeated the demon, a stone will be added to your inventory. Instead of using the shard to stone the local naysayers, you can exchange your purple rock to enlist the aid of Frank on your journeys ahead. Well, I'm specialized. After killing old man Rattlebones and donning his cape, you'll be alerted at random intervals of fellow metalheads who lack the ancient wisdom and have been put to the chair for their reticence and piety. This sacrifice has died at level 7 in Mulgor, signifying that he had not the will nor the phallus to make it in this harsh environment. Here you can see that whilst lighting Keith Richards in a pyre of righteous flame, he has rightfully struck down my Frank summons and cast him back into the void. I must now retreat to the hills and recover my strength for the next festivity. After earning yet another upgrade in stick holding from a notably more friendly Keith Richards, I was awarded with one of the many collectible accolades for impressive cowardice and a willingness to sacrifice friends for material gain. A cultural touchstone that seems frequent and expected at these sorts of events. After finally finding security in the barren wastes, I was able to claim my ticket to Ozfest and start my journey proper. You may have also noticed that I have once again donned the red dress, as I have also sacrificed my fertility in exchange for the apathy towards others that I have now learned to cherish. The next activity is pig waiting. Wait for Kreenig to spawn and hope that you're the first to tag the mob before the other three people who are waiting for him can tag it before you and you have to wait an extra 30 minutes in order to complete the quest. Winners get tinnitus, losers get drowned. Fortunately for me, however, I was able to tickle his balls fast enough in order to tag the mob and get the kill, turn in the quest, and get a reward that I couldn't even use. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. At level 16, I was invited to join a group of pleasure minstrels in the lava pits below Orgrimmar to slay Teriyaki the Hungry and loot his corpse for precious pretzel bites and water bottles that we need to rehydrate ourselves for the concert and adventures ahead. After slaying the demon, I was able to turn in my quest to Nimbo the Gilf, where he awarded me 8 silver, the exact amount I'd need to get my VIP pass back into the Barrens. He has referred to me as his resident twink, and I am unsure of our relationship. Finally, after helping this long-haired emaciate find the merchandise booth, I felt I was finally ready to take Ozfest into my own hands. One bar to level and then I can finally get out of the barrens and do Wailing Caverns. Alright, just fear. I shouldn't be here right now, but I can just run. Clear opening. What? Oh my god, no, there's two?! Oh my god. Uh, uh, health stone. Sprint. Three! Sacrifice! No! No! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you fucking serious? Hardcore OzFest offers a trial of constitution that will be sure to test even the most seasoned of gaming veterans. I truly feel as though my time was not wasted, but well spent among the company of other rock music enthusiasts that would call themselves true friends of the OG <laughs> This game, game fucking sucks. Well, spank me here, come on, what are you trying well, to you do? you into that too, huh? No, I'm not into spanking. I love it when you yeah, froth like I'm that. Sure.